Hey everybody, welcome back. So between episodes, I went into the town, I sold a bunch of empty jars, as well as all those arrows, made a little bit of money. Basically, we have less money than before, because I bought that healing works scroll and used it. So we're up to 287 healing, we're actually past the halfway point towards max, which is awesome. I also found three white roots uh, down south, so I took one of my empty bottles and made a pretty strong healing salve out of it. So let's get back north to the uh, Witch Doctor near Weasel Pine area. And we'll get back to killing stuff. Uh, I don't want to mess with that worm. We had issues with that before. Gotta look out for the flying guys. Not a whole lot we can do about that. We still haven't found the Witch Doctor here. Oh, hey. Ooh, God, I thought it froze again. Come on. Uh, bunch of coppers. I could really easily go sell those right now. Uh, you know what? I'm right near the start. I should probably sell those real quick. And I actually don't know how quickly... Oh, cool. It carried over how low their health was. That's useful. I didn't remember that it would do that. Because I really want to kill those things already. The merchant's right here, though. And I don't remember how long it takes for them to restock what they have. Okay, they have a wise man scroll there, which is really good. That gets your identification skill up. Uh, how much? Really cheap. Buy it. So, uh, identification is... I blind? Here it is. 20? 22. Ah. Kinda sucks. The scroll can give you a random amount. I've gotten up to 25 with that before. I believe maximum for identification is 50. Why they're not all the same number, I don't know. It's weird, but whatever. So we've actually identified some of the items that we have in our inventory due to having higher skill in that now. So we're wearing a three dex, which I really like, and a three vitality. So we're actually wearing good rings. One strength, four damage, and this is a bracelet. So we'll wear that. We just hit for more damage. And that's it. Yeah, okay. We'll sell that I'm strength ring. Carl. We don't need it. There we go. Well, I'm pretty happy with that purchase. Uh, we really do want to get those skills up. Okay, we'll get it back out in the world. If you're wondering why I'm not paying for healing in town, um, why waste the money, honestly? When I could just be finding White Root, considering I'm such a good alchemist. Oh, hey. There's the Witch Doctor. Yeah, so it does let me attack him. Let's go ahead and make a save. All right. Yes, y'all. Greetings, Traveler, while you're here. Sorry, old man, I knocked on the wrong door. Huh, you are polite. I do like pleasant people. It's so weird how it's written. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. It's just one of those. If you have any problems, uh, come to me and I'll gladly help you. Thank you. Is this really the guy that the town hates so much? Yes, y'all. Uh, there's some spiders out in front of his house. Well, I can't, like, purchase anything from him or ask for blessings like you could normally at a witch doctor. Okay, he's got a few spiders backing up. I should probably kill them anyway. Fuck off. Yeah, I should probably kill them. Such a weird flight noise it makes. All right. Kill some spiders, get some experience. We need the experience. All right, speed it up a little. That's a lot of them. Ooh, I don't know if we can win this. Slow it down all the way. Yeah, that's our last healing potion. We gotta get out of there. Man, that sucks. Hey, witch doctor, you said you'd help me with anything, right? Okay, the spiders are backing off. I'll stand on my ground in a second and just get some swipes in at these guys. Come on. Ah, didn't kill it. Damn. Well, if I go straight down here, it's the worms, right? I think it's the worms that are... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, nope. Apparently I'm close enough. Get out of there. It's okay. They'll leave me alone. Okay, so if I just go around through these woods, I can I can easily get to and from the witch doctor. And then back down to here. And spiders will individually respawn to the right. But if I fight them in smaller groups, like one-on-ones, because I kill them every time they respawn, then that's pretty easy fighting. Come on, fight me again. 
I can easily kill you guys even without healing potions. Yeah, I'd be able to easily kill them if they stood their ground at all. But they really don't like doing that. I do occasionally get a hit in on them though. Whereas they rarely get a hit in on me it seems like. Uh, okay, so we know this path is clear because we just recently cleared it. The most we're going to find is like one spider. Okay, slow it down. Um, so we haven't checked any alternate path yet. Have we? Because wasn't there a bunch of enemies to the right and we didn't want to go too far? Oh, hi. Yeah, there were worms that way and we didn't want to fight them. How about up here? They might follow us a little. Yeah, and then there's those spiders. We didn't want to fight them either. Come at me. Alright, and then you. Uh, what about up here? God, this is a really big area. More spiders. Alright, we'll head west. There's a hat. All right, let's go get it. Maybe it'll be good. Um, I mean, we don't have enough dexterity to use it, but it's nice that we have it. Another road up there. This place is huge. Not seeing any enemies. It's just the usual flying guys are coming at us. Yeah. Seems like there's only two in the whole area. Yeah, go away. Hate those things. More level 2 spiders over there. God, I can't wait until we have more dexterity. I want to get that weapon up there. Maybe it's an anti-spider sword. That'd be nice. This is a gladius, which is a pretty good sword. You can see the damage on that is quite high. And it's got an enchantment of plus 4 damage on top of that. But it requires 28 strength and we're only at 10. So we're pretty long ways off of uh, using it. Go away. All right, fight me, and then I'll walk over here. Anything up this way? I'm looking really carefully for movement in the woods. Want to make sure that there's not like a group of enemies I'm not seeing. Bunch of arrows, don't even want them. That one's only at 23 health left. Anything down here? Getting a little lost in this area, it's so big. But I feel like we've gone pretty far west at this point. So, if I hit the edge of the map, oh, that's a poisonous spider, level four. Yeah, I don't want to be near that. We'll go up here. And we'll go through the woods a bit. All right, come on. Throw my swipes in. Again, I do have that potion of life if I absolutely need a heal. Would just suck to use that not as a revive, but as a healing salve, you know? Okay. We're finally going to see a new area. Level 5 Moss Dwellers. Ooh, I don't remember these guys. I don't know if they're any fast, but I really want those white roots. We'll make a save. Okay, we're going to grab the close one and then get out of here. How fast are these guys? About as fast as me. Okay, we can safely get that one and get out. That's fine. That'll get us a little bit of health back. And if I go right back in, are they just going to reset position? Yeah. Those ones are too risky, though. And we definitely aren't going to be tough enough to fight these guys. Let's go ahead and boom. Drink it right away. We got like, what, 28 health out of that? Something like that? We needed that. That'll keep us perfectly healthy in the fight against these uh, flying dudes for a little while. This must be the biggest area I've ever seen. This is crazy. Yeah, come at me. I, I didn't even get a swing on him that time. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. That might be better than what we've got. Okay, they're both 36. This one's plus 4 armor, though, on the enchantment. Ours is plus 1 dex. 
I'd rather have the dexterity, actually. I think I'll sell that chest piece. It'll probably be worth some decent money. So if I follow this straight, straight down, I should have a clear shot to, um... Yeah, there we go. So there's the spiders, and then this means... Yeah, yeah. If I just keep going straight down, this is a clear shot all the way back to that previous village. Oh, hey, there's three of them now. Come on, I really want that one dead. Hmm... I want to get some kills in. It's been a while since I got some serious experience, you know? This one. I want that one dead. Ooh. Oh, oh, six health. Okay. You know what? Oops, I accidentally dropped that. Misclick. All right. We're standing our ground until that one's dead. One hit will kill it now. All right. Come on. Ah, uh, sometimes they stay longer and sometimes they don't. It's mostly based on whether they flinch or not, I think. Hey, I killed one there! Getting a lot of hits on that one! Yeah! Not enough experience to get more dexterity, though. That's another kill! Yes! A ring that I can't identify, that's fine. And a, some arrows, and I picked up some of them, but couldn't get the rest because it's too heavy. I can come back and get it later. I'm actually fairly sure that items never respawn on- or never despawn dropped on the ground. I could be wrong about that, though. Do I want to wait for last one? How close am I kill to killing him? Not super far, actually. Think about how long it's taken to do this much damage and how quickly I'm killing these guys now. Lucky. Alright, one more hit on him and we're good. Vitality. I wonder if I could save up a little bit more, though. Maybe get some dexterity, you know? It'd be nice. Come on, I just need one hit on this guy. I should probably bring my charisma up a little bit more and just level up. Because I think that's where my dexterity is capped right now, so... There we go. Now I can get that dex up. Got it up by another two. I'd like that strength up too, because even when we get hits, we're not hitting super hard. As much as I love my really high vitality, you know, I can't totally neglect my strength. Okay. And we picked up, presumably, money. Alright, we're actually getting a lot done here. This is good. And now that, um... Now that we've leveled up a little bit, I'd really like to... get, um... killing some more of those spiders. There's so many of yes. them. Okay, um, sell the garbage. There we go. Oh, right, I didn't sell those, did I? I think I was supposed to, and I forgot to, because I'm stupid. It's unlikely I'll ever end up using this Gladius. Let's sell a couple of those jars, save some weight. It's unlikely I'll ever end up using that Gladius. I'll probably get a better, um... What do you call it? I'll probably get a better axe by the time I have the strength for that, but we'll hold on to it for now. Okay, made a little bit of money. That is a good armor bracelet. That's expensive, though. Lost Map gives you a random map of an area. It's kind of crap. Sometimes you'll buy one just to clear out the person's inventory. Claw of the Giant Falcon. I forget what this does. Ah, fuck it. It's not too expensive. We'll buy one. Do you sell anything else that I want? Not looking like it. No. Alright. We'll save the game, and we're gonna use this. What went up? Did did my strength go up? Let me just uh load that again. Yeah, my strength went up. Uh look at look at my strength there. Permanent strength boost. Wow, that was really worth it. Only 72 gold for that? What an awesome uh boost. That's awesome. Okay. Before we leave the village. We need to go down below the village. God, I really wish I could run. I, I hear in the second game you can actually run, which is nice. Um, there are, yeah, these three white roots here, and I really want those. In fact, you know what? I don't think we've ever done the perimeter of this town, have we? I don't remember if we have. May as well. Maybe we'll find, like, um, a good shield or something laying on the ground. 
that strength requirement isn't too high for us. Or even we'll just find some enemies that we uh, didn't know about. Come on. Anything interesting? Not looking like it. Got it. All right. Okay, that's as good as it needs to be. And we'll boost that one up as well. All right. Okay. Now we probably could fight some of these. They'll gang up on us though. Do I want to take that risk? Probably not. Let's go fight some spiders. There's no shortage of spiders here. And we'll try and find another exit as well. So that uh, there's some spiders. Okay, slow it down. I've never seen a red one before. Interesting. Come on. Get me some kills. Get me some kills. That's a lot of them. That's a kill. Dexterity up. Keep that hit chance and dodge chance high. Whoa. Are we good? Are we good? Uh, yeah, we should be good. Come on, finish off that spider. He's already hurt. Wow. They're o actually overwhelming me. All right, just walk far enough that they back off. Is that all my healing potions? Damn. Oh, right, I forgot to tell you. I, I googled what the, the mirror does. Apparently what it does is you use it, and all hidden items on this map are marked off on your map. So I'll just use it. I don't know how it's marked off on my map, because this is my map, and it's vague and useless, but... I don't know. Maybe if I w were to walk over buried treasure, it would inform me in some way. Okay, we're going to go pick that up in case it's a healing salve. And uh, we'll go right after that red spider again, if it is. It's not a healing salve. Okay, we're out of here. Man, that sucks. That really sucks. They're in such a big group. So we gotta find a better place to level then. I'm thinking we go back to the witch doctor place that is below this village. There's a lot we haven't explored there. Um, in fact, we haven't even found the witch doctor that's in there. We know that there are some spiders level two in small groups. We know there are a lot of ants, which we're really good at killing. And, uh, oh, what was it? Good at killing the ants. There's the, the spiders. Oh, there was something else, but I'm blanking now. Uh, skeletons, that was it. There were some really weak skeletons. We can fight them. All right, so we haven't gone straight down from here. Let's let's explore around a bit. Uh, out of curiosity, what's our healing at again? Almost 300. Got it. Well, that looks intentional. Uh, can I dig in front of it? No. Hmm. Again, you gotta look out for what might be buried treasure. Okay, well, this is a house. This is probably the witch doctor. Yeah, that that's a witch doctor. Hey, buddy. Put away my weapon. Uh, don't see any enemies nearby. Okay. Save it. Let's talk to him. Yes, y'all. Greetings, greetings. Thank you, I'm fine. My bones are aching, but uh, you'll have some same problems when you reach the age of 209. I'm not impressed by two centuries. I still remember the time of the Titans. Oh, right, because I guess our guy is like a billion years old as well. Are you a mortal, or have you drunk some kind of magic elixir? I was a mortal before the Amulet of Dragons was broken into three parts. I've heard that several immortals are searching for the amulet. Are you one of them? Yes, Witch Doctor. What have you heard of my opponents? This is interesting. We're gonna... We're finally gonna learn something useful. A richly dressed man and a group of armed bodyguards appeared near the Spring Village not long ago. Spring's Village is my place. I guess he's one of the locals, but he's not an ordinary man. Might be one of my enemies. Uh, rich bodyguards probably means Constantine, because the Byzantines would be wealthy, what with being East Rome. He also visited uh, me not long ago. He asked about some keys in a cave. Keys, why was he interested in them? He talked about caves and some kind of fire key that opens a door to the dragon's lair. Yes, the fire cave is an underground cave that's in the Byzantine camp, which is the starting village of Constantine. I remember that much, and I think we need all the keys to get into the dragon's lair to beat the game. 
I'm guessing the keys are magic. Could two have use for them? And I believe one of the caves is also, I think there's a cave in every one of the default villages. Like I know the Springs has that one cave and I think that cave has a key. I'm not sure, maybe you can find him in the Spring uh, Springs Village. Great, I'll look for him there. So, okay, so apparently he might be at my home village. One more thing, I must warn you, shapeshifters have come into our forests. They are very dangerous creatures. Creatures that can take any shape they want, including human. Be very careful if you meet a stranger in the forest. They may prove to be something other than what they appear to be. I've never heard of such a monster before. I think they have their own quest. They could be searching for the amulet, just like you. We all would... Uh, we would all be damned if they defeated the dragon. All right. Uh, I'll try my best to prevent them from doing so. You're also your true hero. I will help you a little bit more. I'm all ears. There's a special place of contest not far from my hut that was built by the Titans. Many have tried to pass this contest, but they have all failed. It's so dangerous and hard to pass a test, and why should anyone take it? Why risk their lives? The one who gets away from the contest alive will become the owner of an ancient weapon. Isn't that worth taking uh, the test for? Yes, it is. How do I defeat it? I can't tell you. Only hero values friendship will uh, be successful. Okay. I'm fairly sure that test he's talking about is killing all those carnivorous plants in the northern area this, because I know one of the hero's armors are up there. I think it's hero's shield. I'm not sure. The best equipment in the game is the hero's blank of everything. And I think the hero's shield is past, like, 15 highly poisonous carnivorous plants. So it's a really tough challenge. I'd like to ask a favor. So this is what Witch Doctors normally can get for you. You can buy recipes. So oil, which we know how to do. We know how to do all of those, in fact. Um, you can have them identify an item for 50 gold, which... Eh, I don't think it's worth it. It's, it's basically gambling. You're probably not going to make your money back on selling it if it's not good. The blessing is always worth it. Um, a blessing is a one-time permanent upgrade to your stats. I believe every witch doctor does a different stat. And a orb of magic jumping, I believe, is 100 gold. And it's you can click somewhere on your map that you've already seen, and you'll teleport there. So it's a fast travel, but you pay for it. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to save the game. Um, do I have a note about this? No. Apparently, it was not worth writing any notes about anything he just said, even though it sounded very important to me. Um, our stats, so 8, 13, 13, 23, and then fencing, 6. We'll see if we can figure out which one changes when we do yeah. this blessing, because the blessings are all worth it. We receive a blessing. It's 100 coin. Uh, traditions are sacred to me. I'll take the money, or take the coins. Yeah. There we go. He did it. Um, none of those went up. That didn't go up. I don't think any of those went up. I don't think those went up. I cannot tell what went up. Did I even pay the gold? How much did I have before? Receive your blessing. You've already received it. That's quite enough. Excuse me, I was wrong. Uh, I'm, okay, well, I have the blessing. Whatever he blessed me with, I got the blessing, so I guess I'm happy about that. Maybe it gave me a little bit of healing skill and I didn't even notice because my healing is so high. Or like my damage permanently went up or something. I'm not sure. I didn't get more experience, that's for sure. Um, Yeah, I don't know what the hell we got. Uh, I don't think I need anything else from him. But I'll keep in mind where he is uh, in case I want to get some easy orbs of jumping, which I might want. Oh, let's switch to our dagger. Whoops. Hit spacebar when I meant to hit A to track down the enemies. Okay, gold, gold. Come on, I don't want gold. I want, uh, I want healing salve. It's not even much gold. I got like two coins or something. Okay, down here. I gotta try that totem thing again where the skeletons were. There's gotta be a thing I can dig around there, right? Because this game is rich with things you can dig. Okay, get my axe ready, just in case. Maybe I did get one of the four skeletons. No. 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 I wish I had that mirror for here, you know? Anything around the base? Not looking like it. 
No. All right. Next time I have a mirror, I'll use it around there because it's bugging the hell out of me. I really want to be able to kill those pi those poisonous spiders as well. Um. Oh, hey, we actually have enough experience to level up. I I didn't realize uh, we had gotten that much. Uh, should I make a bunch of oil while I'm here? No. I can do that between episodes if I really need to. Um, yeah, dexterity. Always dexterity. It's so damn good. Okay, there are going to be a lot of ants around here, so just be ready. Oh, I'm actually really hurt. Whoa, they could actually really hurt me right now because uh, my health is so incredibly low. There we go. That's plenty. And then I'll just get the, uh, I'll just get the medic in town to heal me. Because we are so close to home. Our bridge is up here? Bridge is up here. Okay. Really wanted to kill, be able to kill those spiders, but I don't feel confident enough to be doing it real safely, you know? I wonder if that uh, rich man is still here. Okay, I have a proposal for you. Uh, heal me. Also, can you start training an apprentice for me? We're probably going to start getting new villages soon, so I want to tell all of these guys to start training an apprent apprentice. So now they're just kind of a guy standing near them who I believe will slowly get better at whatever their given skill is. Uh, and I'd really like to do that because at some point we're going to get to villages who are lacking certain people of certain skill sets. And by having apprentices ahead of time, maybe they'll be decent by the time I bring them over to fill those roles in those other villages. There we go. There we go. Yes. Uh, I don't see anyone working on the barracks. We need a professional warrior to train recruits. My thoughts exactly. Okay, so we have a barracks now, but no one's working the barracks. Um, now I believe anyone could do the job, actually. Do I have the charisma to get a guy right now? I might. A courager, hunter. A courager is a leader, by the way. It's just a different name for it. They're, they don't make great companions, as you can imagine. What with their high skill being leadership, or charisma rather, which does... I believe, uh, does nothing if you are not the party leader. You know what, you're a merchant, you'll, you'll do fine. Uh, strong leader by numbers, wise leader, the help of poison, how's that? Wolf, you're the best marksman in the northern lands. I advise you to poison arrows, it'll be much easier to defeat enemies that way. Not sure I like your advice, but it's never too late to try. I should probably get a bow at some point. You know, to fight poisonous enemies with it. Okay, hunter, I'm merchant, yeah, you're the guy. Well, if Harry, you haven't seen you all. I'll, I'll, whatever, they'll all ask that. Join me. Why not? I, uh, You can see I am not a warrior at all. Don't know a thing about fighting. Yeah, because we don't have a um, war chief yet. Uh, okay, I'll pay the 150 gold. And now we have a teammate. There we go. His name is uh, Rost. Oop, it changed for, it went weird for a second there because someone walked past. Rodislav, or sorry, Rostislav. There we go. Nice name. It's got Slav in it. Um, and you are pretty jack of all trades, you. But actually, not too bad for a level one. You're not bad. All right. Is he now? He just confessed to me. He knows fucking nothing I'm about combat. Know. Is he good enough for this? My thoughts exactly now. Uh, I think we can build something. Nope. We built everything we can. Okay. And now I believe it's Control Left Click. No. Uh, control right click. Yes, you're all. Control right click to talk to your teammates. Uh, just seeing if you're alert. Okay. He needs to level up a little bit more before he can be a war chief. That's fine. Now, I believe he can only bring people up to his level. But everybody in town is level yes, one right now. Well, you must defeat the dragon. Or if you defeat the dragon, I will marry you. I should marry the dragon. He is more handsome than you. <laughs> I hate you. Ha ha ha. Yes, y'all. Are they all gonna say this? Yes, y'all. Well, if I love you, I really don't care. You, you are so rude. Yes, I am. The dialogue in this game is so weird. Um, okay. So we got this guy with us. Uh, we may as well help him get some kills and stuff. Just because, uh, he, we can train him up to be our new war chief. So that our village actually has a war chief. That's something to worry about on the next episode, though. In between episodes, I'll go ahead and walk around a little bit and collect some herbalism supplies. You know, like, 
make some more oils, make some more healing stuff. I might end up getting some kills, so I can't promise that I'll be like the same. Why is my charisma so high? Did the blessing give me 10 charisma and it raised my current and I was looking at base? That must have been what it is. My charisma is really high because of that. That's awesome. Uh, I'm not wearing any chest armor. When did I stop wearing chest armor? Did I accidentally drop my chest armor that I was actually wearing earlier? How the fuck did I pull that off? Uh, blacksmith. Yes. I don't suppose you have a good, I'm listening. good chest armor. It's not bad. Uh, merchant. Listening, Jarl. Oh, you're selling a blacksmith scroll. I should probably get that and give that to a guy. Um, uh, ooh, that's not bad. Uh, I think the blacksmith had a better one though, yes. didn't he? Wasn't his better? Yeah, get that. Well, I don't know how I lost yes. my armor at some point. Uh, but I lost my armor at some point. There we go. Uh, I guess it happens. So my armor is now doubled of what it was a moment ago, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, in between episodes, I'll go collect some herbs and stuff. It doesn't mean I'll probably kill some ants between episodes. My experience might be a little higher next time. So we'll just put that point into strength and that point into charisma. And uh, we'll save it here. There we go. Until next time, have a nice day.